celebrities firing back at disrespectful interviewers. Being a celebrity is crazy, at least when we choose to forget the riches and crazy fame that comes with it. As a celebrity, you have to be ready for a picture anytime because the paparazzi is always watching. Coupled with this, you have to always answer questions about your private life, even when it's the last thing you want to do. However, while some celebrities escape offensive questions by changing the subject, there are other celebrities who wouldn't let it go. These celebrities reminded interviewers that they're human too, and that they wouldn't be disrespected with a question on live TV. In this video, we'll be showing you several times celebrities have fired back at disrespectful interviewers. But before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Now let's dive right into the action. Jerry Seinfeld and Larry King. Jerry Seinfeld is no doubt one of the funniest comedians to ever grace an American stage. Due to his comic background, it's natural that we all find it almost impossible to picture Jerry lashing out at an interviewer. Well, you don't have to imagine anything as it happened in an interview with Larry King. In 1998, Jerry Seinfeld decided to end his sitcom named after him, Seinfeld. This came as a shock to many, considering how successful the show was. Years later, Jerry Seinfeld would be interviewed by Larry King on CNN. And Larry King asked if Jerry had canceled the show or the network had forced him to do so. Honestly, it was a simple and harmless question. But Jerry didn't see it that way. Jerry Seinfeld took offense to the question, claimed that King wasn't prepared for the interview, and even took a direct shot at the brilliance of the interviewer. It was a sad scene to watch, especially as Jerry Seinfeld kept reminding the audience that he had the number one show on TV at the time, with more than 75 million people watching the last episode. To make things even worse, Jerry kept interrupting Larry any time that he wanted to go to commercial break. We really didn't want the numbers, just an honest answer to Larry's question. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy in 2015 was in Toronto for the Toronto Film Festival to promote his movie about bisexual twin brothers who take over London's gang community. In the past, interviewers know not to ask Tom Hardy about his sexuality because the actor always finds a way to not talk about this. However, it appeared like he had had enough of the question when a reporter at the festival asked him about it. Immediately, he became visibly angry and asked the reporter why in hell he would ask such a thing during a film festival. Tom Hardy took a moment to reflect on his anger and then decided to explain why he had been angered by the question in an interview with the Daily Beast. He said that this was first of all not the place for a question like that, and then added that it was a film festival and the reporter should focus on asking questions that related to the movie, rather than ask questions about his sexuality. This is a lesson for future interviewers. Don't ask Tom Hardy about his sexuality at a film festival. Kanye West and Matt Lauer. What's a list of celebrity controversies without the king of celebrities himself? Kanye West has mentioned previously that he thinks George W. Bush didn't care about black people. He said this in response to the former president's reaction to Hurricane Katrina. In 2010, Kanye appeared on the Today Show to discuss the controversial remarks. It should have been noted that former president George W. Bush had addressed those remarks in a separate interview. However, during the interview on the show, Kanye West was right on the verge of taking back his words about the president when the interviewer played a clip of Bush's response. This immediately riles the rapper up, and he said that the interviewer is playing a mind trick on him, a trick that would enable him to give an emotional response. But it doesn't end there. Seeing that his guest is obviously angry, Matt Lauer decides it is the right time to play Kanye West's MTV video where he grabs the mic from the host and says Taylor Swift is undeserving of her VMA award. At this point, Kanye West completely loses it and the interview is as good as dead. Mel Gibson's Cut Interview Mel Gibson was famously arrested in 2006 on DUI charges and also made anti-Semitic remarks afterwards. Four years later, Mel Gibson was before an interviewer who asked him about the DUI and if he thought that people would see him in a different light now. Gibson was obviously angered by the question and even mentioned to the interviewer that the incident happened four years ago. He managed to keep his cool till the end of the interview and then called the interviewer an asshole. Fortunately for Mel Gibson, the interview was a pre-recorded one and that part ended up in the recycle bin. However, just because the internet never forgets, the uncut clip is still available to watch today. Justin Bieber in 2012. Justin Bieber has grown and changed so much since his first hit song, Baby, a song which won several awards and established the singer as a major force in the industry. In 2012, Mojo in the Morning set up a phone interview with Justin Bieber, but everything seemed wrong immediately when Justin picked up the phone. First and foremost, the interviewer mentioned that the first time he had heard the song, Baby, he thought it was a song by Justin Timberlake, suggesting that Justin Bieber sounded like him. Interestingly, Justin took this in silence. 
later on, the interviewer would ask another inappropriate question, this time about Harry Styles and Justin's mother. The interviewer asked, quote, do you worry about Harry Styles of One Direction around your mom since he likes older women? This is where Justin lost his cool and he replied, I think you should worry about me around your mom, bro. And he goes on to hang up the phone. We sincerely hope Mojo in the Morning sets up a crash course for that interviewer on how to ask relevant questions during a celebrity interview. Quentin Tarantino and Christian Guru Murthy. Everybody knows how bloody Tarantino's movies can get. And for someone who has spent several years making movies of this kind, you can bet he's tired of answering questions about the violence. In 2012, while promoting the movie Django Unchained, he went on Channel 4 for an interview with Krishnan Guru Murthy. During the interview, Guru Murthy brings up the old and tiring question. He asks if Tarantino thinks that the violence in his movies will cause more people to engage in real life violence. Immediately, Tarantino snaps and refuses to answer any further questions. Instead, he attacks the interviewer and even goes as far as saying, I'm not your slave, you are not my master. Quite honestly though, the interview was not going great until that point, because it appeared as if the interviewer was constantly finding ways to get the director angry. Jennifer Lawrence. Now here's a tricky one. During the 2016 Golden Globes, Jennifer Lawrence took a shot at a reporter simply because he was looking at his phone while she talked to him. Perhaps as a joke, she said that the reporter can't live his whole life behind his phone as the moment to live is now. The reporter apologized for this and went on to ask his questions, but Jennifer was not done with it. The reporter asked a question about the Oscars and where she saw herself. But instead of answering the question, she mentioned that if he had dropped the phone for a moment, he would have known that this was the Golden Globes. As expected, Jennifer Lawrence came under fire for her behavior towards the interviewer. Some quickly mentioned that since the interviewer had a thick accent, it's possible he was looking at translations on his phone. Others said the reporter was trying to pick up a phone call during the interview. However, Jennifer answered all the reporter's questions and even laughed out loud during the interview. Matt Damon. Matt Damon's mother is a teacher, which is one of the reasons why he joined Save Our Schools rally in 2011. During the rally, a reporter asked him if he thinks he works harder than a teacher. While it seemed like a harmless question, Matt believed that wasn't the right place for the question. He said that the problem was education and its policies, not how hard he was willing to work to get jobs. Perhaps in a bid to save the reporter, the cameraman chipped in saying that 10% of teachers were bad. This obviously angered Matt Damon, who replied, then maybe you're a cameraman, I don't know. And there you have it, your favorite celebrities lashing out at disrespectful interviewers. Do you think there are even more fascinating celebrity clips online? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, and do not forget to like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching.